Out of sight, deep under the city. One of Queensland's biggest construction projects is well underway in a world where very few surface dwellers are allowed to venture. Construction pausing on the Cross River Rail project for one day only. So 150 very lucky locals could get a glimpse inside. Stepping into a portal beneath the city. Down here it's cold and noisy. A fascinating insight for 150 lucky school students and radio contest winners allowed to explore part of the Cross River Rail Tunnel. Amazing, fantastic, very excited. How all those concretes all stay up is beyond this little brain. Construction put on hold for one day only, allowing this once in a lifetime trip underground before workers start laying the tracks. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty loud though. <laughs> I thought it'd be bigger than it actually is. In the heart of Spring Hill, but a world away from Brisbane, up close you can see the incredible scale of work happening right beneath our feet. We've got an eight-storey building at Wollongabba that's the station, but you can't see it. It's just, just hitting the ground level now. This is as far as we're going to come for today. At this point, we're about 30 metres underground. And to give you some perspective, we're somewhere near the Oval of Brisbane Girls Grammar School. Here, the visitors etch their names into Brisbane's history and future engineers get let in on some of the tunnel's secrets, rubbing shoulders with the people behind the project. It's a pretty cool experience, like um, just seeing how people uh, have created this space. It's just been a joy to see uh, 100 plus people uh, experience something that uh, very few people will ever experience. The next members of the public to enter this tunnel will need a go-kart in 2025. I want to be on the first train. <laughs> Nick Kelly, Nine News. Now, Gary Youngbury is live at Kangaroo Point tonight with your full weather forecast and Gaz, we've got a cold snap heading our way. I'm afraid uh, so, John. Oh, it's affecting our southern states. It'll be good news for the Alps if you think of the ski fields. Well, there'll be plenty of snow on the Alps over the next couple of days, but that cold air is sneaking up into southern Queensland. It will make its way across a large part of our state. But what it does mean is those westerly winds, some dry air, we can dry out, and uh, we'll see some beautiful blue skies that we're used to at this time of the year. Now, temperature-wise, let's take a look uh, recorded across southeast Queensland, and it's only downhill from here with our minimum temperatures. Uh, overnight, though, some single digits, 8 degrees in Ipswich. Kingaroy and Oakey started the day with just 6 degrees. Daytime highs, 24 on the Sunshine Coast, uh, 25 in Tuonton. That was the top. 23 in Coolangatta, 22 on the Goldie, 21 here in Brizzy with Ipswich and Caboolture 22 degrees. To the weather map now and a strong cold front will sweep through Victoria and New South Wales generating strong winds, showers, storms and rain with heavy falls in the east. A low approaching the northwest of WA will also bring rain with some heavy falls. Interstate now showers in Adelaide and just 16 degrees. Showers in Melbourne and a top of 12 degrees tomorrow. Showers in Canberra and just 10 degrees. There'll be late showers in Sydney while Alice Springs only reaching a maximum of 19, that cool air pushing all the way up into central Australia. For Queensland, sunny in Cairns, Townsville, Mackay with high 20s, mostly sunny and high 20s for Gladstone and Rocky, partly cloudy in mid 20s for the Wide Bay and Burnett, sunny in 31 for Mount Isa, a late shower possible in Roma. Here in the southeast to start your Monday, partly cloudy with the best chance of a shower tomorrow in the Lockyer Valley, strengthening northwesterly winds will be west northwest later. Overnight temperatures as low as single digits while daytime highs reaching the low 20s. Moreton Bay, west northwest is 15 to 25 five knots, even up to 30 knots by the evening, so the sea's rising to three metres offshore. Brizzy, partly cloudy, look a very slight chance of a, a late or evening shower, but a mostly fine day and a top of 22 degrees, but 12 overnight. The week ahead, well, strong westerly winds, Tuesday and 21, sunny and 19 Wednesday, partly cloudy 19 Thursday, warming back up by the weekend and looking fine. Ipswich, sunny but windy Tuesday, fine and sunny for the rest of the week. Thursday morning, getting down to 7 degrees. For the Goldie, cooler days but fine for the week ahead. Thursday down to 9 degrees with a top of just 18. It will once again warm up for the weekend. The sunny coast, fine for the week ahead. Cooler temperatures from that westerly change but daytime temperatures should push back up into the mid-20s as we get back in towards the weekend. So basically a fine week ahead, just some cool nights but some nice sunny days. Just stay out of those westerly winds, Jono. I'm shivering at the thought, Gary. Thank you. Now, before we go, here's Tara Brown with a quick look at what's coming up on tonight's 60 Minutes. 
Thanks, Jono. Tonight... We just get in out of the church. Random guys say, can you take care of the little girl just for a few seconds? An abandoned baby. Doesn't make sense. A burnt-out car. Horrific. And a missing Aussie mum. She's never been away from that child. Inside the Mexican police investigation to find Tiny Shanks. Is there any chance the police have got that wrong? Before it's too late. Why dump a two-year-old child and then take the 32-year-old woman? That's tonight after Celebrity Apprentice... Back to you, Jono. Tara, thank you. And that is 90's Queensland this Sunday. Thanks for your company. I'm Jonathan Upton. From all of us here, good night.